Between 30 and 50 new patients are bussed into this hospital every day. Since the start of the Iraq war, the Landstuhl Hospital in Germany has received a total of over 7,700 soldiers. Major Soans, the army chaplain, welcomes each new patient personally and attempts to provide moral support. It's no easy task. Some of the soldiers have lost parts of their bodies, eyes, hands, feet, and they continue to deal with the fears of the relationships how are their families going to receive them? How are they going to, you know, get and hold a job? Some of them are afraid of their military careers. It is hard for the soldiers at Landstuhl. Major Soans has his work cut out keeping up the morale. Many of the soldiers are deeply traumatised by what they have been through. OK, good. See you, OK? okay. Marcos Ferrando was on a helicopter shot down over Iraq. His physical wounds will heal, but his experiences are likely to leave lasting psychological damage. It's horrific seeing all your comrades, you know, either dead already or, or getting ready to die, and a uh, ball of fire everywhere. Just, uh, it's, it's a life experience that that an individual won't ever forget. Seventy percent chance that I won't get to Seventy percent chance of what? That I won't be able to That means there's a thirty percent chance you will be able to see that. Yeah. Bet, man. Since the end of war on the first of May. The number of casualties coming into the hospital has shown no signs of decreasing. We have uh, certainly a large number of battle casualties, those who are injured um, either on a conventional battlefield before May 1st or with uh, guerrilla type warfare that's been happening uh, since the 1st of May and probably has been increasing within the last month or so. Doctors at Landstuhl work hard to patch up the soldiers. They call it caring for heroes. Washington also hails these men who fought and risked their lives in America's campaign to liberate Iraq. The White House also promised that they would be welcomed by the Iraqis with open arms. But the stark reality is that no one in Iraq could be trusted. Good job. I can't identify who they are because I could be speaking to somebody and they could be my friend one minute and the next minute they turn around and, and try to kill somebody else. It has now become clear that the fight against terrorism has no clear end in sight. It's going to be an ongoing war. Like George Bush said, it's an ongoing war on terrorism. It ain't going to stop in one place because there's terrorism everywhere. The rising number of casualties being sent to this hospital clearly demonstrates America's war is far from over. President Bush said that the major combat operations were done on the 1st of May. And in all honesty, in, in May, um, June, and July were probably our busiest months. More patients, more casualties, more work to do. In the case of serious injuries, the U.S. Army also allows relatives into the Landstuhl Hospital. Demra Ashmore came to Germany when her husband was admitted to the hospital. His health is critical, so we couldn't speak to him. The Ashmore's family life was torn apart when her husband was wounded. A mortar landed about 
probably no more than a foot away from where he was sitting. And his whole right side has burns and shrapnel wounds. Meanwhile, Major Ashmore was able to see his children. His stay may well be shortened as many soldiers whose units are still in Iraq get called back as soon as they regain their health. If he, if he gets better, once he can run, they'll probably send him back to Iraq. How do we feel about this? I don't want him to go, but I know he'll have to go. The troops still like to believe in the just cause of the war against terror, but at Landstuhl, beliefs are starting to waver. Well, they know I'm there for him because I, I wouldn't be doing this with that. I love, I love my wife and kids to death. And if I wasn't over here supporting my country to put, to keep a, a roof and, and food on the tables of my, my wife and kid back at home, then they, they, they wouldn't understand what, it, what I was doing, what I'd be doing over here. Is it possible to win this war? No, no. I don't know. More and more victims are falling foul of a war that has nominally already been won. The stay in the hospital is, for many, the end of the illusion of invincibility. You know, that, that it's like a roller coaster of emotions. You're going from, from a time of great expectation and a time of, you know, this is going to be wonderful, this is going to be joyful, to all of a sudden this is tragic, this is terrible. They risked their lives for a war that was supposed to be over. But the war continues to make daily demands for fresh victims.